Yes, avian flu. First off, influenza is a disease that has always had its origin in birds. And there's many different strains of influenza. The one that we're concerning ourselves with now, because it's in Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Minnesota, so da coming down through the Central Flyway, coming down the Mississippi Flyway with the migratory birds, is an H5N2. That's just one particular strain, and you'll hear it referred to as highly pathogenic avian, meaning bird, influenza, HPAI. And the reason we're concerned about it now is because, one, this particular virus is killing birds in the states I just mentioned, as well as in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but it has the potential to infect humans. There have been no human cases yet in Asia or those other places I mentioned of the H5N2 or the avian flu that we're concerning ourselves with now. But I know what people are going to start hearing about, and that is that there's wild birds that are dying, there's domestic poultry that are dying. And in those areas that that's happening, there's going to be a lot of animal health measures taken to contain that area, to not have domestic poultry going into and out of the area. There's going to be a lot of uh, poultry destroyed, not allowed to go to market, et cetera. They're dying. And they're going to evacuate people from those areas to make sure that they're not in harm's way and run the risk of catching it. And the reason I think it's important to be aware yes, I would think of it as quarantining the poultry in the area. Now, obviously, wild birds are not going to respect that. They're going to come and go. And that's how it's gotten this far anyway, is not through the transport, most likely anyway, of domesticated poultry. It's come through wild birds. Uh, uh, one of the saving graces on the Kansas side is that Kansas isn't a big poultry producing state. Missouri is much so, and Arkansas is one of the biggest poultry producers in the country. So it is in the area. There's going to be wild bird transmission. It's springtime. We have migratory waterfowl coming through again. Um, and it just runs a risk of having a fairly widespread kind of dissemination of this particular new, at least new to this area, avian flu strain. Uh, I, I would say that if a, if, a, if a bird looks like it has just plain died and wasn't in the grill of your car or mm -hmm. something like that, then it would be a matter of concern and I would leave it where it is, not let a pet get a hold of it and drag it in the house yes. and notify the public health department. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's mostly a matter of being vigilant if you're around poultry that are dying, uh, if you have flu-like symptoms and it's not the flu season, I think those are all things that you would want to check with your physician about. Uh, the commercial poultry is safe. The treatment would be the, the same thing in terms of public health measures to not spread it from one person to the next, covering cough, etc., staying home when you're ill, and then it would be the same antivirals uh, that are used for the more ordinary seasonal influenza that we've been seeing.